Hey, everybody. Uh, this video is going to be about blind patriotism and how it can harm the United States at large. Now, blind patriotism, to me at least, this is someone who just goes around beating their chest saying, oh, America's number one, America's number one, and everything. Uh, but it's like, and then people say, oh, they hate us for our freedom. When people, and like that's what people said, that's what Bush said when we got attacked in 9/11. And I think there's, they don't hate us for our freedom. They hate us for the policies we've made against them. Uh, and I think the main reason a lot of people in the Middle East hate us is because of after. Um, okay, in the 1970s, 1970s, 1980s, um, the Russians invaded Afghanistan, and, pe and people in the Middle East who were, who were getting funding from the United States saying it, and said it was too much, or too little, too little. And then, well, if you've seen Charlie Wilson's War, you know what happened, he kept getting more and more money. But once the battle was won with the Russians, we abandoned them. We wouldn't help them build schools. And I think that's why people hate us. Uh, and I think that's why there's such a seething hatred for the, the Americas. That we go in there... We, if we went in... When we went into the 1970s and started giving the Mujahideen weapons and money and funding... And then we just leave them afterwards. We just leave them. And they didn't know that we were helping them fight. And then they come back and most of the people are dead after coming back from fighting. Um, and then, but we didn't tell them that we were helping them. We, I guess we couldn't because they wouldn't have accepted the weapons, I think. But I think it's important to realize that is probably one of the main reasons why there's such an animosity between America and the Middle East. Another reason is the blind patriotism that I was gonna, that I'm going to talk about is the people that say, "Oh, we're better, we're better than everything. We're a bastion of hope. We're a bastion of democracy." But if you think about it, we're not a bastion of democracy. We're we're a bastion of lobbyists and special interest groups and things that rule the the nation at large were consumerism where that's and for people who follow the Bible most of the time most people follow the Bible we are one of the most coveting nation like we we you know, we're one of the most covetous nations inside within our own country there's a lot of people that covet other things but like people say oh that's a really nice phone I gotta get that kind of phone or that's a nice car I gotta get myself a car like that and then there's this, um, I think another reason why people have such an animos, anim, such a bad attitude towards us is, um, I think our idol worship, like, like celebrity worship, that we worship people who don't really do anything meaningful. Uh, like, really, our media is basically centered around stars like I mean there's no I I haven't really heard any news about uh, the Iraqi reporter who threw a shoe at George Bush or three shoes at George Bush and but that's in the other news media that's on the BBC about how his trial got postponed I, I think it is that we don't most most of the times our news outlets don't have international news that we we don't focus on the international stage at large and I mean some people were and some people are good that in this country about questioning things that the government tells us uh, but I don't think there's not enough protests about what we care about there's anti-war rallies but there's not any real like Code Pink, if, if you should watch Penn and Teller bullshit because they they do an episode about world peace and people. And there's all these uh, left wing groups called Code Pink and Answer 
coalition and things like that. But there's no people who say, um, because the right wing always says, well, if you're against war, you're against the troops, and nobody's up there screaming at the top of their lungs. No, if you're for war, that doesn't mean that you're pro troops or the the two things are not mutually exclusive. You can support the troops but not support the war. And more recently, uh sorry, I got a headache. I'm having trouble thinking. But um I think it's the, the, blind, the kind of blind patriotism that people who don't go anywhere say, oh, we're the best in the world, we're the best in the world, we're the best in the world. Now we're not. <laughs> There's irrefutable proof that we're not the best in the world anymore. And there's people, and I think more a reason that people don't like us at the world stage is because uh, I, I, don't, I personally don't like the non-secular running of the country because most of the time, peop the politicians are either being run by uh, religious groups or being run by lobbyist groups. And it's not pol that's not politics. Uh, and. I encourage everybody to vote in every election that you can. Maybe we can regain some of our world image. Maybe. I think if we reform the... And we need to reform some things in this country. And maybe people will take us seriously. Like the education system we have to reform. Uh, education... Shit, why the fuck I didn't think of it? Like the roads, because the roads are really bad where I live. There's all these potholes and shit, and it's not good. And um, But there are things that we need to work on as a whole country. Uh, when someone says something racially disparaging someone, or sexual orientation, or something, and I think the first great step towards a greater reflection of uh, peop like greater reflection of we are the best or that we have a better image is if we follow everybody's lead in the world and allow gay marriage to be legalized um, I've always been a proponent of gay marriage I really don't see why anything's wrong with it it's usually the bible beaters who say gay marriage is wrong, gay marriage is wrong and then that causes such an uproar and nothing gets done. There's no, they just let the issue die. But uh, there's nothing really else I want to say. Just don't be blindly patriot to, patriotic to anything. Don't be blindly ignorant to things. Go to the BBC news um, site. Get news from other sources than the U.S. media, because you'll be sadly surprised about what's going on in the world. But I'm Resonator Zen. I'm off like a prom dress. Uh, peace and love. Peace and love to everybody. All my subscribers, peace out.